Hi, it's Wolf from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest video. It is how to make the Da Vinci catapult. Here it is, right here, and I'll show you how it works in just a second. And uh, a couple of things I wanted to say is that this isn't an exact copy of the Da Vinci catapult, if you're familiar with it. But what I did do is I wanted to use some of the major concepts that Da Vinci uses in his catapult, uh, particularly these crossbow-like bent sections. It's really wonderful. I think, you know, his catapult is unique and, and it expresses the genius that he was in that the ability, he had the ability to see things in new ways or in new configurations. So that's what I really love about this catapult. You know, this is a unique setup that you don't see anywhere else. I kept it for the most part the same with just a few gearing changes and whatnot. So that's it. Really simple project. All I used here is an embroidery hoop. Cut it in half and I used that as the, the means of... Uh, storing the kinetic energy. So let's take a look. Let me fire it here. There you go. That's how it works. Simple project. All you need is a few different pieces of wood and an embroidery hoop and some string. So I will launch into the tutorial on how to make it. But first I wanted to say uh, thank you for watching my video. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, you may want to consider subscribing. I put out two new videos every week. Uh, a thumbs up or a comment would be great. And uh, here on my channel and on my website at stormthecastle.com, I have lots of catapult, trebuchet, siege engine projects going anywhere from tiny little popsicle stick catapults all the way up to 10 foot, you know, uh, 500 pound trebuchet. So you can watch the video for that. Uh, you, you can check out the web pages and how I made it. So let's launch the tutorial on how to make the Da Vinci catapult. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach the art of real creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Let's just take one more quick look at the catapult firing. I put a little piece of paper in it and fire it off. I wound it tighter, so it shoots pretty good now. It actually shoots pretty good. Now you can tinker with it and get some good distance out of it. Let's build it. A piece of wood, 10 inches by 6 inches. Uh, it can be any kind of wood, plywood, anything. Two stands like this. That hole, drill holes in them so your dowel or broomstick can fit. And those holes are about two and a half inches off the base. It's about two and a half inches, half inches up. Piece of cake. Mount them along the center line like this and, and screw them in from underneath. I use two inch wood screws. You want it to be pretty strong. You don't want this thing to buckle on you. Um, I drilled uh, clearance holes in the base and then just little pilot holes in the stands so it's nice and tight. Easy enough. Check it to make sure it fits and it runs smooth. You want it to be pretty loose so it spins freely. Now, take your embroidery hoop, cut it in half. Just like this. And then mount those down against the inside of each one of those uprights. You know, nothing specific. It can be oriented almost any way. Just so the hoops are up. Now see the drive shaft? I, I, I cut like an archer on the end, like there. And I also put a pin in there. And you'll see why I put that wooden pin in there. Because that's the stop that holds the catapult in place like that. And you'll see, you can drill holes to modify that. But uh, drill holes in the, near the ends of the embroidery hoops and put a string through it. Almost any kind of string can do. I, I don't know what kind of string this is. Drill, drill a couple of holes in your drive dowel and fish those um, strings through. And then tie them in knots so they're about even. You don't want one end to be real loose and the other end to be real tight. The other string. You want them to be about even so that when you wind it, they both wind down evenly. See now, you put a hole, drill a hole and put a pin in it. But you can make more revolutions to make it tighter. But now, once you have it set like that, then you drill the hole in the other end of the shaft so you can put the, the catapult arm in there like this. Because the catapult arm is too long. So and I'll, I'll show you. And I made this little handle to wind it with. It's kind of neat. I mean, you don't have to have it. But it adds a little bit of, I don't know, panache to it. It's a nice little... But watch, I'm going to wind this up tighter now. See how you have to have the arm out. So you wind it up a couple more revolutions, one, one more revolution. And then pin it. But that hole on the other side where the catapult arm goes through has to be in the right location. See? But when you pin it on this side, you can drill that hole and then put it in there. 
Now you don't actually have to take that arm out ever again. I'll show you. That's what, this is what happens. You fire it. And there's a pin over there on the other side to hold to stop that arm. There's a pin over there. I forget to show that. You just drill a hole in the far upright and put a pin in there so the catapult arm stops against it at about 45 degrees angles. See, so you can just push it back, wind it up again, and you're all set. That's it. Lots more stuff on my website. All kinds of catapults. Mouse trap catapult, five shot catapult, the big behemoth trebuchet. Uh, thanks for watching. If you don't subscribe to my channel, you might want to think about it. Two new videos every week. Thank you.